Chinese are newcomers, but they're coming in a fairly fast pace. Sinuk's offer to purchase 100% of Nexon uh, will be by far the largest foreign merger and acquisition deal of any Chinese company has done uh, in the world in any sector. What worries me, though, is what happens afterwards. There will be cultural barriers, language barriers. The Chinese uh, have always been interested in Canada's energy and resource sectors. So in the past two and a half years, we're looking at Chinese putting in about $16 billion. The government had concerns in the beginning. I mean, uh, back in 2006, the conservative government didn't want to do anything with the Chinese, uh, but partly because they didn't know China at the, not, at the time. Now, I think they've learned that the Chinese investments are not that scary, and we do actually need that capital. Historically, Canada has been trading with the United States. So is our investment relationship. I think now we need to get used to and learning how to cope with the Chinese and other Asian investments in Canada. Now, the tax implications, assuming that the NICs would be over the cap, which they would be, that the first five million and the second five million in the third year would be taxed at a rate of about two and a half to two and three quarters to one. The third would take that to better than three to one.